All right, the heat is on, especially Friday and Saturday. The actual temperature right around 100 to 102 degrees and the heat index getting up to 108 to 109 for Friday and Saturday. So we have first alert weather days for Friday and Saturday because we're really close to that threshold of 110, which would put us at a heat advisory. So just be really vigilant and careful and hydrate during this time, especially Friday and Saturday. Now looking at uh, right now, we've got clear skies. It's a beautiful day out there. 90 degrees in Camden, 90 in Sumter, 88 degrees around Saluda. Your 12 hour forecast, we go from 83 degrees at 8 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 71, upper 60s at 6 in the morning and 70 degrees at 8 in the morning. So we've got this drier air that's coming in from the east. High pressures located in New England tomorrow morning and we are still seeing that to cooler and drier air. So that's why our temperatures are down to 67 in the morning there. So this front makes its way down to the south. We've got dry conditions for your Thursday and that as that high slides over to the east, we lose that funnel of dry air and we're starting to get more heat from the west and a nor more of a northwestern flow, which causes some compressional heating as we head into your Friday and Saturday as well. So Saturday, this high pressure is building. We have this cold front up to our north and that's going to get closer to us and could give us a little shower or two Saturday night and into Sunday morning, but nothing for Sunday morning there. But by Sunday afternoon, you can see as this front makes its way in, we see a better chance of rain, especially late Sunday evening. Now here's Franklin right here. So this cold front is interacting with Franklin and keeping it away from the United States. So you can kind of see it still hovering there. Also, I'm watching a low pressure system down to our south kind of move up to the north and this could be a tropical in nature. We have got two models that are showing it. This one right here. This is the European and also the Canadian. The American model has nothing at all moving from the south here, but it would interact with the styled boundary as you can see here into Tuesday. And so we have have upped our chances of rain for Monday and Tuesday because of this. And as that low interacts with that boundary, it's remained to be seen, but it could bring us a good bit of rain. So that's something to watch out for Monday and especially Tuesday. So here's Tropical Storm Franklin. It's just now on the other side of the Dominican Republic with winds at 40 miles per hour. And now we're expecting it to become a category two system with winds around 105 miles per hour by three o'clock in the afternoon Monday. It kind of jaunts over to the uh, east and the back over to the west, but staying away from the United States because of that cold front. Two other systems we're watching. This one right here is down to a 30% chance. This is 92L, and this has a 70% chance of developing. It's what's left of uh, Emily that's strength strengthened back up. So that's also going to remain out to sea, but 92L goes into the central Atlantic by around Wednesday. Looking at the 10 day, 95 degrees Thursday, Friday, 101, 102 for your Saturday, hot, hot, hot Sunday, late evening showers and storms, and then more scattered showers and storms for Monday and Tuesday as the front stalls out. Our temperatures cool down to 89 degrees and upper 80s into Wednesday. Rick.